gold last week has traded in a very narrow zone it failed to break below 1900 at the same time 1935 levels yet again proven out to be a good resistance now what to expect next week which position you should take in order to profit trading gold next week we will see with the help of charts first followed with indicators and towards the end we will summarize conclude the observation from the charts and indicators with the trading levels and strategy for next week do watch till the end and do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon before leaving the video which keeps you updated with the daily twice a day updates which i share for gold also you can remain updated by joining our free telegram channel the link is mentioned in the channel and video description let's start these are the weekly charts for gold and you can see here it has formed triple bottom since then it was trading in this bullish channel couple of weeks back it has breached the channel and now trading with a slight bearish bias at the same time if you look at the complete formation see the rise here couple of a uh, drop candles red candles then retracement then red candles now it is trying to retrace again also if you look at this time it is tried to show a reversal candle here but then it has to follow with a couple of green candles also if you look at the complete formation right now it is trading in this bearish channel after the sharp drop this is a sideways bearish channel the top of this channel is now at around 1954 levels 1955 levels in fact here is a greater resistance for silver gold at our first 1954 and then 1965 levels so for next week couple of levels you should observe first is 1940 because see if it opens in green trades above 1940 certainly we can see it breaching beyond 1954 then these levels at around 1960 and 64 levels should come into picture very good resistance exist here if it trades above this see it then you can tell that uh, possibly this is coming out of this bearish channel here and trying to reverse completely and hence till here we have to remain extremely careful here now this is the first observation second observation is what gold is seen right now is triple top and since then you can also see it has formed this peak also if you look at the complete formation here see the rise retracement rise retracement this time the leg here is slightly broader also if you connect the few bottom from last few weeks you will observe this is trading broadly in this expanding triangle and this time see first of all the, from the bottom it has breached the channel however in the near term it is trying to trade in this broadening triangle also if you look at the bottom of this now situated at around 1900 and hence once it breaches 1900 and below level certainly you can say it will fill the gap at 18 1870 levels and below that a sharper drop can be expected now this is on the weekly charts let's have a look at the daily chart now see on the daily charts this was the reversal sign here since then we can see gold giving higher highs higher lows now specifically 3 to 4 green candles then this retracement and then this a greener candle towards the end of the week but a point to note here is this is see first of all 1940 was the greater support earlier when it, the prices were moving or trading above 1940 now you can see this zone is completely a greater resistance you can see multiple candles failing to break above 1935 and 40 levels this indicates that there is a greater resistance for it to break past by this zone also if you look at in the last week itself twice it tried to breach 1935 but failed to break and that is very very important this is also indicate that now 1935 is the greater resistance 1935 1940 zone rather i will say this is a greater resistance zone if it stays above this zone then certainly more bullish momentum is expected next week also if you look at the last candle see couple of red candles one green candle double top here that is also one should note also this is a greener candle with flat bottom and a wick on the upside and the closer of the candle greater than half of the complete move which also suggests that there is a possibility that it can give you a second or follow up green candle which might in fact take it above 1940 levels and likewise what we have observed on the daily charts if you re replicate the same on the uh, weekly charts weekly what you have observed on the weekly charts if you replicate the same on the daily charts you can say that still there is a greater resistance for gold here at 1940 then 1960 zone very very good resistance here beyond that it should be confirmed for a little more rise which might take it the price is still towards 1980 level now also let's have a look at the monthly charts here 
on the monthly charts you can see couple of green candles then this red candle also you can f see this it has formed the base at 1800 three candles getting a strong support at 1800 with that we have seen a good rise higher highs are done retracement is also done now it is trying to look upwards now where you should confirm that it is uh, at which point we can expect that it is completely reversed now see first of all the moment right now it is looking upwards it has formed a tail and trying to look upwards so possibly once it stays above this zone that is where you can find that possibly now the prices are going to retrace and uh, or going to reverse and we are going to look forward to a complete bullish month here in July because see couple of retracement candles and then this pullback but remember one point to note here is a reversal sign here on the monthly charts first red candle here there is a greater probability that a second red candle can follow as this is just the beginning it can try to pull the prices little up form the wick on the upside also till here and then probably get a pull towards the end of the month on the downside now we have seen the chart let's have a look with the help of indicators what are the indicators are suggesting also in the indicators you can see the prices were too much divergent from the 20 period ex exponential moving average now it has come closer and still there is lot much on the downside now the 20 period exponential moving average is situated at around 1850 levels which is a greater support for gold and a uh, drop below 1900 or 1895 levels any point of time in the month of july should, should certainly confirm the drop till towards 1870 and 1850 levels this time remember the fact if it drops below 1900 and 1895 levels certainly 1870 and 1850 levels will get achieved here now second observation on the stochastic here you can find out the stochastic was overbought it is now dropped and it is trading in a comfort zone but with a bearish bias right now it is looking downwards if you look at MACD now see MACD on the other hand has completed one cycle here it has started the second leg however if you look at the second leg it is trading in green however converged a bit but remember it has not yet crossed over it can converge a bit more and then possibly again start to trade bullish so till 1800 possibly we should not treat this as bearish RSI is comfortable neither bullish nor bearish trading flat coming to the weekly chart on the weekly chart see uh, the prices are divergent from the moving averages here we have seen the prices converging here till moving average 20 period also and then till towards 50 period moving average now also if you look at here you will observe that the 20 period exponential moving average 20 weeks exponential moving average has given it a greater resistance which is right now situated at around 1935 levels achieving those levels we have seen it retracing and hence these levels are again becoming important now on the downside you can see 1880 1840 are stationed far below and see these are still one over other still are in the bullish zone but you can see there is a probable conversion here now this is something we should observe because once it start to converge this is a slight bearish sign as of now though it has not yet crossed over look at stochastic this was also oversold it has come out of the oversold zone trading very near to the bottom now most importantly the MACD the MACD is trading with divergence and it is still trading bearish here also if you look at the complete formation see the drop then this higher highs now higher lows at least so the probability for it to continue with the drop exists for a little while yes uh, the divergence is too much so it can probably converge a bit before looking forward to this bearish move and hence this also suggests that even if it tries to look upwards the bullish move can be short lived and uh, the retracement till 1980 levels or 1984 85 levels should be treated as just a retracement and not a complete reversal so we have to be careful here also rsi is almost you can see it has dropped and now trading flat coming to the daily chart now if you look at daily chart see the 20 and 50 period crossover here we can see both trading with divergence now the 50 and 100 are yet to cross over this is a, a sign where we are waiting for a crossover between the 50 and 100 period moving averages that will place all the three one over other and then this divergent will take further or will indicate further bearishness 
but at the same time one must note that here the prices were divergent from the 20 period moving average now we have seen it converging now the for, uh, 50 and 100 period situation uh, moving averages are situated at around 1940 45 levels and that is why i say this complete zone between 1940 and 1960 is going to remain a very great or a larger resistance zone yes if it stays above 1940 possibly there is a chance that it can try to move upwards with a positive momentum can try to hit 45 50 and then in fact 54 60 levels but then till 60 we have to remain extremely cautious and watchful beyond that only further bullishness is, is going to be seen a stochastic has dropped now see MACD on the daily charts is divergent here and this is a good sign why because see uh, first of all see the movement here first wave second wave and third wave here it is looking upwards it is trying to reverse here because see it is coming from a slightly higher levels and we can see gold uh, when it is bullish it almost reverses from these levels so we have to be watchful because a little diversion here can pull the prices little up which means uh, we can expect slight bullish movement in the gold for next few days before it looks over to any downward move rsi looking upwards which is also a bullish sign now we have seen the charts we have seen the indicators time for me to define the trading levels and strategy for you so where to buy i will recommend you to buy here at 1928 levels beyond this one can expect 1935 1940 now see this is the zone which I will wait for it to break past by because beyond that definitely a little bit of bullish momentum however nearest resistance is at 1942 though I will uh, not expect this to provide a resistance I will expect it to directly hit at around 1950 1954 and then in fact we may see it hitting 1965 levels as the next target this is the zone beyond which little more bullishness can take it till towards 1972 1984 levels and if it breaks past this then sky is the limit chances are less that it is it is going to definitely struggle with the bullish movement and if, if you see it is struggling certainly one can say that there is more bearishness and there is more downside to it left and it can reverse any point of time so we will definitely take the momentum here on the downside i will recommend you to sell here at 1914 levels below which rather you can sell here at 1920 itself but then 1914 1910 are two greater supports for gold below which you can expect 1900 levels to be seen and if this breaks now remember if it breaks below 1900 just stay short though 1895 is a greater support but i think it is going to break below and we are going to look at 1870 levels directly this time and then 1850 levels now it can happen in a day or two it can take complete week or so but yes below 1900 and 1895 certainly we one can remain short and not for this week but also for this month we can expect more bearishness below these levels and hence take your trades accordingly also you can join my mentorship badge in order to learn the tips techniques and strategy in order to become a profitable trader my 23rd badge starts on 10th of july couple of days are left you can still book your seats now reach out to me for more details my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description also you can be part of my signal channel reach out to me via telegram or email for more details thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead. and before leaving the video just press the like button and do share subscribe and comment thank you very much